So he... are you a Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. So my problem is this, Sahil. You as yeah. a human being, a, I, I respect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit but of a shame. Please go on. To, to Christian, you know, say go on and on. You see, and on he's ranting on. Again. Okay, let's, let's focus right now, yeah. Sahil, I am a Christian. I really think Islam is a big, is one of arguably the worst financial and uh, religious frauds in human history. And the reason I say that is this claims to be the last step in the previous religions, doesn't it? Uh, like, yeah. Like uh, the religion of Jesus, the religion of Moses. Abraham, so. yeah. Abrahamic yeah. religion. Yeah. So it claims to be an Abrahamic religion. Yes. So it now needs to demonstrate that it is an Abrahamic religion, yeah? Okay, yeah. yeah. So one of the keys, one of the, one of the, one of the important... Do you know what you're talking about? I just want to hear what he said. Now he has a brain, as brain works. Where are you from? Australia. Sahil. Sahil, this gentleman thinks human beings like you can't think. Is that what you're going to agree to? to you, I am saying to you, this guy is an underhanded liar. Yeah. He will take the videos that he's taken from you, of you, yeah. cut them up and make them say something different and you will end up looking like a fool. I would just say thank you very much and walk away. Sahil, I'll give you... Understand more about Islam, I just want to hear what he says. Yeah. You want to hear what... Then, yeah. If you want to jump off the cliff me. there, sir, there. Try there. Came. Now, okay. coming to you. Coming to you. you Sahil, you, you are a young man with... Uh, what you know Sahil. You know that this is done. Yeah. If you don't know what you're talking you about, yeah. don't. Yeah. Yeah. When you come to Speaker's yeah. Corner, yeah. where are you from? Yeah. Sahil. Sahil, yeah. where are you from? Yeah. Sahil, where are you from? Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. Are you from? Yeah. Australia. Yeah. This gentleman. Yeah. This is the you do not know. What Sahil. The almighty one second, one second. Sahil. Sahil. <laughs> one second, one second. Sahil, this is the problem, yeah? This gentleman, if you give him, if you give him a few more He's minutes, latching onto you and won't let go. Just walk away, mate. Yeah, I just want walk to away, my I'm brother. Just just he has a brain, and the brain Listen. works. He, he, hold, he, on. He, he, hold on, hold on, you have access. You have access. Hold on, you have access to the internet, right? Yeah. Just type in Arul. You'll get his face, and then you can hear what he has to say. Yeah, because he's been torn to shreds more than once. Why is it a brain then? Why is he desperate then? And do I look if desperate? Islam is so strong, do I look desperate? It's why, up to you. If Islam it's is up so strong, to you. you can yeah. answer. Like I said to you, yeah. It's up to you. Good. Yeah? Thank it's you. up when to you. When are you planning to move on? But this is done. When are you planning to move on? This is done. When are you planning to move on? Thank you. Thank you. Well, now let me speak to him. Thank you. Don't push me. Oh my God, look. It's the soul. It's the soul. That is what it is. So this is what happens, my dear Muslim friends. Did you see what just happened? This road roller ran over me. The road roller ran over me because he is so desperate. The road roller ran over me because he is so desperate and he thinks other Muslims cannot think. Sahil, here is the problem. You as a young man can think for yourself, can't you? Uh, yeah, sure. He thinks if you give him half a minute, he will even tell you the moment you come to London, you need to let him know and only then you can begin breathing. Would you agree with that? <laughs> that's not what he said. Well, that's hey, in effect. If you can't speak about Islam, now I'm trying to engage with you on religion, yeah? yeah? And if you can't present your religion and only he has no, to I'm control. I'm not present my religion. I would just want to hear what you have to just, say. Yeah, yeah, it's a very simple I thing, yeah? Sure. So this is the point, Sahil. Yeah. This is the point. Sorry. Please listen. Yeah, one second. Yeah, sorry. sure. I just, my friend. Okay, no problem. So, yeah. Well, well, yeah, Sahil, this is the point, yeah. You're told that this is the last covenant, last testament. The word testament means a covenant, yeah. yeah? The last religion in the, in the line of the previous ones, yeah. The only problem is this. When you go through the details, this simply cannot demonstrate that this comes in the line of the previous testaments, such as Mosaic Testament, Abrahamic Testament, Abrahamic, you know Abraham? Yeah. Abraham was given a, a, a precise covenant, a contract. God had a contract with Abraham. God had a contract with the nation of Israel through Moses, Mosaic contract. God had a contract with David. And God had a contract in terms of Jesus Christ. There was a contract also. These four contracts have to be somehow explained. 
I can. The text of the contracts are there in the Bible. So you're trusting the Bible? I am, yeah. I have no reason to doubt the Bible. Do you have any reason to doubt the Bible? Do you have any reason to doubt the Quran? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. And the reason to doubt the Quran is this. Multiple, I have multiple reasons to doubt the Quran. One of which is, one of, one of the reasons I have to doubt the Quran is, this appears like a fake imitation to me. Because if it, if it has to be the latest version of the religions, it has to demonstrate how it is the latest version or the later version to the previous ones. Yeah, It has to explain how it fits in with the Abrahamic covenant. It has to. Why? Well, if it claims to be that, it has to demonstrate how it is that. If I, if I, let, 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 me, let me tell you this. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a simple example. You're, you're, I'll give you a simple not, example. No, if I, you know, it claims to be the word of God. What's that? It claims to be the word of God. No, no, it came. It claims to be the. No, wait, wait. But you sh no, it claims to be the word of God. So it has to prove that it's the word of God. Not uh, that it's, Sahil, that's not. not that it, it, it makes much more than that. The claim is much more than that. No, but the, the principal claim is that it's the word of God. Okay, okay. We'll come to that in a minute. If, Just wait, one minute. No, wait, wait. But if it claims to be the word of God, and that's the principal claim, and then that claim is proven to be true, sure. then okay. the rest of it you can take. Sure, no problem. I am willing to shift topics right now. Yeah, and let's deal with that principal claim. That's a principal claim. That okay. Which I don't think is the case because you you okay, miss an, okay. so the what, Quran. What do you think its, the Quran think it's main claim is? Explicitly, the Quran explicitly at multiple. I'll give. I'll demonstrate this to you in a minute. Yeah, the Quran explicitly at multiple points in time in the Quran repeatedly claims that this is the latest and the greatest of what came before. I'll explain. I'll no, demonstrate. But main, but I'll, no, no, I'll demonstrate. No, but For, I'll de one second, one second, please. You need to stick to Please, you need to really reason with me. And the way you can explain, the way you can understand is you just need to go through the table of contents, the surah names, yeah? Al Yusuf. You know who Yusuf is? Just Yusuf, Yusuf. not Al Yusuf. Just Yusuf. It's yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, just Yusuf, yeah. sorry, just Yusuf. Yusuf, you know who he is, yeah? Yeah, Joseph. Who is he? And he's in the Bible. Yeah. So it's claiming some sort of relationship with the Joseph of the Bible, yeah? Not necessarily. Why it, doesn't not necessarily? it doesn't have to claim a relationship. It could be... So why is he even talking about Joseph? Because they're both, they're both Abrahamic faiths. So of course, they're going to have but the same stories. Where do you have Abrahamic faith from outside of the Quran? Abrahamic faiths, the Abrahamic faiths. Yeah, outside of the Quran, where is it? Yeah, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Yeah, where is it? Where, where is the source of information outside of the Quran? Well, the claim is it's from God. No. Today, if we need to read about the Abrahamic faiths, outside of the Quran, where would you go? Yeah, but you... Where would you go? No, you're not sticking to the obvious No, I know, I know what you want me to say. No, 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 I... No. Obvious, but it's not the correct answer. Because the obvious answer would be the, the Old Testament and the New Testament, but that's not the correct answer. But do, you know, do you know that this Quran claims at multiple points, it uses the expression, people of the scripture? Yeah. What is the scripture then? Yeah, people of the book. But what that is doesn't... the book there? Yeah, but what does that mean? No, no, no. The, the, handsome, you're never answering. What is that book there? No, you're not answering me. I'm, you need to, I'm asking yeah. the question. What so is the that Testaments. Book there? What is the book? Yeah, the, the Bible. Exactly. The that is all well, I said. Actually, I don't know why you do you know. Actually, wait. That is the actually, simplest the answer. The Injil. Where is, what is the Injil? Is, what is the Injil? The original revelation. What is the Injil? Okay, okay, okay. Let's stick to that, yeah? So, okay, okay, let's wait, check I can, I can see what you're trying to get to, but it doesn't make sense. I'll, Sahil. I'll tell you why, because... No, Sahil, I'll tell you why. Sahil, please. I'll tell you why. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, okay. let me... Do you know, are you saying, are you saying Injil is the Bible or not? Um, it's a version, I guess. It's the original... You're it's guessing. What, it's what, what, what is the Injil? Where does it... What is the Injil? What do you know the, about the Injil? That it was the message given to Isa. Yeah, well, well, today, if you need to read the Injil, where would you go? You can't read it today. Why not? You know the answer. Well, you tell me. Why not? The Quran claim that it's been changed. Quran claims the Injil has been changed. Where does it claim so? I put it off the top of my head. Yeah, please. Because I have read the Quran multiple times, I do not find this idea that the that the books of Jesus and other people have changed okay. at all. Okay. So please find. Wait, but you can see the change. No, no, please fine, please fine. You need to stay focused, please fine.
can't find it right now. I don't know it off the top of my head. I can, I can tell you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can tell you. It's in the hadith. Well, if it's in the hadith, not in the Quran. In the yeah, yeah. yeah sure. you, you agree? Yeah, that's I, very I, I important. Don't, I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't know off the top of my head. Okay, I, okay. I, I can, I can exchange my contact details with you. You can even follow up. The point, very simply, is I've gone through this multiple times, and I can tell you confidently that the Quran never claims any of the previous books have changed. The only thing the Quran claims is that the but you're not book. Dealing, you're no, not dealing Sahir. with principal points. Okay, fine. So you haven't demonstrated how the injil has changed. We'll come to that later. Okay. Now okay, let's that get wasn't back. That was my claim. That wasn't my. That wasn't Sahir. my. You simply fail to engage with the point I was trying to make earlier, which is a simple your point. Makes no sense. There is no evidence for an Injil. There is no evidence for an Injil outside of the Bible. And that is a Mickey Mouse fantasy story. It doesn't exist. There is no evidence. Zero evidence. Would you like to believe in Mickey Mouse stories? Wait, you're not dealing with the point though. I'm dealing with the point. You said you believe in the Injil. Okay. Do you have any evidence of text in relation to the, the Lord Jesus Christ, which Christians affirmed in the first century, which is outside of the Bible? Do you know of any such book? I don't believe that's the Injil. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Okay. What is the evidence for an Injil? What, I don't know what the Injil is. In other words, you just don't know. You can't. When you don't know something, can you make a comment about that? Not really. Yeah, good. But you did. A moment ago, you did. You said that's not the Injil. And therefore, I I yeah, I don't yes. believe that's the Injil. Wait. But, 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 Sahil, if I did not know where you come from, if I did not know where I, where you come from, and if if, he, if the gentleman here he said you are from New Zealand, can I ref yeah. can I can I disagree with him? You can disagree. What? I I'd, I'd want I don't I don't want I can disagree only if I'm foolish. I won't do that. Now, okay, let's get back to your previous claim. You said. This book, the primary claim of this book is that this is a word of God, yeah? yeah? How do you get to know this? It's a belief. So is there any way of getting to know know this? Well, how, how, well, what's your word of Do you have a word of God? Yes, the Bible. Okay. And how do you believe in your word of God? I, I believe because I have reasons to believe. I have evidence. Jesus in history died, he came back alive. And in history, I can verify. I can use... Absolutely. And how would you verify that? I'll come to that later. But before that, let's settle this case. Do you have any way in which you can verify? Because that's what you said. You said it. the principal claim can be verified. Because yeah. earlier I asked about David Covenant, yeah. Abrahamic Covenant. You said, well, don't talk about that because the principal claim is this is a revelation from God. Can that be verified at all or not? I don't think you can ever 100% verify. Not 100%, 20%. Yeah, sure, you could. How, could. how can you? Well, first you have to look at you know, the claim it makes. Yeah, the claim is very simple. This is from Allah. This is from God. How can you verify? How do you start? Where do you start? And then there's prophecy. Yeah, where is the prophecy? Show me one prophecy. Um, Surah Rum. Surah Rum. Okay, let's take Surah Rum um, and take the prophecy. The Romans at the highest of their power and they were defeated? No, no, no. I don't want to hear your text. I want to read from you, please. So, Surah Rum. Uh, Surah Rum. Ar -Rum. Uh, Surah 30, uh, verses uh, 2 and 3, I'm assuming, or 2, 3, 4. Please read and explain to me what the prophecy is. That the Romans will be defeated within a few years. The Romans have been defeated, it says. Yeah. Okay, this is semantics. If you understand the way the No, no, works. Sahil, please. This is no, no, one second. I'm going, to, I'm going to stay quiet, give you the time to read, but you need to demonstrate what the prophecy no, is. But if you're going to keep like... I, I won't interrupt this time. Look. You can no, read no, no. verses 3, 2 to 4. And tell me what the prophecy is. Because prophecy is prediction concerning the future. Not some fact about the past, but prediction concerning the future. Read verses 2, 3, 4. What is the prediction concerning the future? The Romans have been defeated. Have been is past. Yeah, but there was no way for them to know that at the time. Where for they who? Were in Medina, about the Romans being defeated. <laughs> Do you know about the Arabic army? At that time? Yeah, yeah. Do you know about the Arabic army? At that time? Yeah. What was their, what, what was their northern frontier? What was their northwestern frontier? And how long would it take? What for was their northwestern? How long would it take for an information like that? Excuse me, uh, Sahil. This is my problem. You, anytime we are trying to narrow down to a, 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 a detail, you're moving away. If you do that, you will never no, find out. You one second, Sahil. If we do that, we will never find out what is true and what is false. You said this was a prophecy. My question is, 
Let me know, please, how this is a prophecy. Our room versus two to four. How is this a prophecy? You read it. Please read. Yeah, let me read. Yeah, I can read for you. I can read for you. And then please demonstrate how this is a prophecy. Yeah. The Romans have been defeated in the nearer land. And they, after their defeat, will be victorious. Within yes. a... F <laughs> Calm down. There's your... Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm. Within a few years, alas is the command in the former case and in the latter. And in that day, believers will rejoice. Yeah? Now, you're going to give me the details of the prophecy. What is the detail of the prophecy? It says it right there. Yeah, Romans, yes. I see the word Romans. No. After their defeat will be victorious. Yeah, who, who will they defeat? That's the that's the prophecy. Wait, okay. Who will they defeat? Already, if you no, 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 no. Text is here. Text is here. Who will they defeat? Okay. Are you going to read the Quran? Yeah. Yeah, please. That's good. Read, read the Quran in but Arabic. You need, it, you need it with text. No, read the Quran. No, but you need it with you need it with the explanation. There's no no. Because, well, wait a second. Okay, okay, Do you wait. understand what a prophecy is? Yeah, but you need. Do you it. understand what a no, prophecy listen, is? Listen, listen. Do you understand what a prophecy is? Do you know why you need it with the Sahil. Bro, if you're not going to listen, sure, okay. Go on, I have go on, to go. go on. Um, why you need it with the explanation is because the people at that time knew the context they were in. They knew what was happening, so they would understand it. We obviously living 2024. Good, good. Yeah. So will you, will you, when you read any explanation, will you give me the date for that explanation? You can't really read a source which comes many centuries later. Yeah. You can't read Al Tabari, which comes centuries later. You if simply can't. Okay, so Al Tabari is a later source. If you're not going to. It's still a legitimate source. Later, so I'll give you an example. I'll demonstrate this. Yeah. If I stood here and said, hey. That go guy, to, no, I gotta, second. Go to I gotta go to lunch. My friend's calling Just me. Just one minute and I then you go. can go. My friend's calling me. Okay. My friend's calling me. I gotta go to lunch. Okay. You, you, you two make, just observation, yeah. you two make a very good duet for a, uh, it's kind of respectful and informed. On a Wednesday night, they do a... Live stream. Uh, on, what is it? Operation Steven. Uh, you on the on that. You're a very good candidate for that. 8 p.m. Uh, the, on the copyright page in this book, you have my email address. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Please yeah. email. 8 p.m. London time, Wednesday. We'll follow up. No yeah. yeah, and uh, you are a very sensible man. Lovely to Thank see you. you. Have a good time with your friends. God's blessings. <laughs>